Evening guys, hope everyone's well, had a good week so far. It's me, Toby here, and Steph, and we're just going to share devotional on Ecclesiastes and um, the topic of seasons. So I'd just like to open up in prayer. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much that you've given us this opportunity to be able to share with your children, God, your church, Father. I really pray that you will speak through Toby and I this evening, God that you will minister to your children, Father, that you will provide them with peace which surpasses all understanding, Father. As we speak about different seasons, God, God, I just pray, Father, that you will enlighten our hearts, God, that your word will truly be a lamp to our feet, God. As we're all still in this COVID-19 season, God, God, let us know that you are fully in control, God. Fully in control. And that nothing is impossible for you. In Jesus' name, Amen. The reading will be taken from Ecclesiastes 3, A Time for Everything. For everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to turn away, a time to search and a time to quit searching, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be quiet and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What do people really get for all their hard work? I have seen the burden God has placed on us all, yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart, but even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So I concluded there is nothing better than to be happy and to enjoy ourselves as long as we can. And people should eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labour, for these are gifts from God. And I know that whatever God does is final. Nothing can be added to it or taken from it. God's purpose is that people should fear him. What is happening now has happened before. And what will happen in the future has happened before. Because God makes the same things happen over and over again. Toby's now just going to, to share and just give an, an overview of this chapter. Amen. And just a bit of context for that. In Ecclesiastes, the purpose of Solomon's writing was to spare the future generations the bitterness of learning through their own experience that life is empty, hollow and meaningless apart from God. Solomon was a man who had it all. Tremendous intellect, power and wealth. All things the world tells us to attain, but relevant or to be satisfied. He describes these things as chasing the wind. Hindsight is a beautiful thing and Solomon shares this in Ecclesiastes. The hindsight of those gone before us become our foresight. This is a book which can help us discover the true purpose in life. Solomon teaches that people will not find meaning in life through knowledge, money, pleasure, work or popularity. True satisfaction comes from knowing that what we are doing is part of God's purpose for our life. This is a book that can help free us from our scramble for power, approval, money, and draw us closer to God. Um, some of you might have known that um, I was playing up here in Halifax for the last season 
and um, I've literally just been transferred down to a team in London. So when I read this scripture, it really relates to me that there's different seasons in life. Um, kind of the work seasons that I do, we actually call them seasons. So as one season ends, we go into a new season. There's pre-season, there's off-season, um, and there's post-season. So there's different types of season in the profession that I do as I play football. So reading through this, it's really been an encouragement to know that God's in control of all the seasons that we go through. And personally, I can really relate to what Solomon's saying in these scriptures. In the passages that I've read um, from verse 1 to verse 9, it speaks about different times and times and seasons um, to do different things. I think personally, we're in a time of a pandemic, um, but God's in full control of it all. I think our times and our seasons change depending on what we go through. It could be a change in career. It could be a change in family circumstances in terms of having a child or being pregnant. It could be a change in, in working environments. It could be, be changing so many different things, but change is inevitable and it happens to us all. Um, I've learned so much from different changes and seasons in my life personally. Um, going to play for different teams, meeting different people, living in different cities. And in verse 11, it says, um, yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has placed eternity in the human heart. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. And for me, it just speaks volumes of a God that goes before us. Um, I've, I've heard God being described as a God who sees round the corner. Um, and we can't see what's going to happen in the future. God already knows. Um, one of my friends really encouraged me recently and he said, um, our future is God's past. He already knows what's going to happen even before we know and even before we see it. And, and I think I take encouragement with that. And even how I got to BCC, I, I never knew that I would be meeting some great people or being able to worship in such a good gospel based church but God knew that and he had prepared people ahead of time for me to meet and be encouraged and grow in my personal walk with him and understanding my personal purpose and I think I just wanted to encourage us that anything that we're going through any kind of future plans that we have any worries or anxieties about the future God already knows and he's in full control of it all. And we need to just trust in God's plan and his purpose for us. And what might be unknown to us is known to God. And he really wants us to depend on him in every single season of our life. That as we take our steps of faith forward, we keep our eyes not so much on our circumstances, but on the God who is faithful, on the God who knows, on the God who sees and on the God who cares. So as we just journey through it, I just really just want us to be encouraged from these scriptures that God sees the whole scope of what he's doing. His work in us, his work through us, his work to us. He sees it all and he knows exactly why we're going through certain things. He exactly knows what we need for each situation and circumstance. And he just wants us to trust him. I think sometimes when there is a known, you don't need faith. But when there's an unknown, we need to trust in him who is in full control of it all. So I think I just want to encourage us that. God doesn't make mistakes. He doesn't take risks. Um, he knows all things um, and he knows our future. So we can trust in him in every single season of our life because he's a God that's already gone before us. So um, God bless. So just to summarise from the devotion this evening, there really is a reason for the season. So just to encourage you, you may be in a, in a season that you don't want to be in, and you, you just can't wait to get to the next season. You may be in a season that you're, you're comfortable in, which is great. But just always remember that God has you in his hands and he's with you every step of the way. So you have no need to worry. God says that we should cast all our worries and cares onto him because he cares for us and he cares for you. So we just really want to, to encourage you and, and to keep your eyes fixed on God and to know that he has your best interests and intentions at heart. And just, just to share personally, I'm currently in, in a situation where um, I've been made redundant due to the whole COVID 
and I am I'm currently looking for new work but God's just given me so much peace about it and has shown me that this season is, is a time for him to pour into me so that when there is a time when work does come I'll be ready for it and I really feel that in my spirit and I really feel that in my heart when the, the right job comes that I will be ready for it and it's because he has prepared and made a way and sometimes the seasons that we are in can be training ground it can be a way for God to prepare us for what he has next so I really want to, to um, encourage you and just to know that God sees the bigger picture even when we don't he sees and as Solomon says and quite rightly says there is a time for everything there really is so we really hope and we really pray that God blesses you in every season. So we really hope you enjoyed the devotion tonight. It's been really nice to share with you guys and we can't wait to see you physically rather than virtually, but we've really enjoyed preparing. So we hope you um, will be blessed and, and take a lot from it. Yes, and I'm just gonna close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. Um, we thank you for this study. Um, on Ecclesiastes, Lord, we thank you for your word mm -hmm. and we thank you for your Holy Spirit who brings understanding to your word. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, I pray, oh Lord, the seeds that have gone out from your word, I pray that you continuously water them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, oh Lord, that we're encouraged, oh Lord, leaving knowing that you're the God who's in control of all the seasons that we go through, Lord. You're a God that knows, you're a God that sees, and you're a God that cares pray lord that we can just depend on you oh lord in any area of our lives where it's unknown we can trust in the god that knows oh lord i pray that you just continuously just have your way in our lives oh lord in jesus precious name we pray amen amen amen